Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you about how to customize the list section buttons in your Squarespace website. You can change the color of these buttons using the site styles menu. However, if you want to change an individual button, giving it a unique background or a different font or a cool border, you can use a little bit of custom CSS to make that magic happen. As always, the codes I'm about to walk you through are listed in the description below, but let's hop on into my demo site so you can see exactly how they work. So here we are in my demo site and I have a standard list section with three individual item buttons as well as one main list section button. We're going to be customizing all of these with code. Now I'm going to navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS. You can install this code on an individual page. I will link to a tutorial video underneath this video to show you how to do that. But assuming you want this site-wide, this is where we're gonna paste the code. Clicking on CSS, the first code I'm going to paste will edit the list section button, this main button right here at the very bottom. Let's say the background color is perfect, but you wanna give it a little bit of a box shadow so it kind of pops off the page. All you have to do is add your box shadow code right after list section button to change that up. Now you'll notice when I hover over it, it goes slightly lighter. We get a little opacity there. We can change that as well. Let's create a hover effect. I'm going to use that same name list section button, but then I'm going to add the little colon symbol and the word hover. And now I can say opacity one important. So it's going to stay that solid color, but then we can add another code to change up the background color entirely. Let's make the background color blue instead. There we go. And now we have a hover effect for that list section button. Now, what about these individual items up here? Those we can change separately as well. They go by a completely different name. However, I'm going to remove that code we added and they're going to be called list item content two underlines button. So now that we've added that code there, let's give them a unique border. I'm going to open up a curly bracket and I'll say border 5px solid pink important. It's very important that you add that extra word to make sure that your code is picked up by the browser and it's not overwritten by the standard source code that's already there. So we've added important and now we have this pink outline to all of those buttons. Now, what if you want to isolate just one individual item to give it a pink border, a green border, and then a yellow one? We can use code to do that too. This code right here, if you'll notice, is giving us a unique border on each one of those buttons. What it basically says is, hey browser, you have this list of items. So this code reads, hey browser, we have this list of items. In that list, I want you to take the first one, the button for that first item, give it a 5px border that's solid and the color pink. And down here we said, hey browser, you've got a list of things here. In that list, take the second item and make that a green border instead of a pink one. So here, if we change this number to three, for example, and change this to two, you'll notice the colors have now flipped. The yellow one is actually associated with the second item and the green one is associated with the third. We can do that to give them unique background colors as well. Now I've changed them up to say the first one has a background color of pink, the third one has a background color of yellow, and the second one has a background color of green. And one last thing I want to mention, we can also use this code to change the color and the style of the font for this button as well. So let's say this third button that is now a bright yellow, it's kind of hard to read the text that's on there. So I'm going to add a semicolon and say color solid black. Now we can read the text that's on that button. But what if we want that button in particular to be uppercase? I can add another semicolon and say text transform uppercase. And now that button really stands out compared to the other ones. So when you're using this code on your own website, pay close attention that you update this number to represent the item in the list order there. Okay. So this particular item says change the second one. This nth child three says change the third button and child one says change the first button. You get the idea. Alrighty, that's it for this quick walkthrough of how to use the codes listed in the description below. I love that nth child selector trick so we can isolate those individual list items. I think that's such a cool one. I do want to mention, if you're looking for some pre-made codes to inspire you with some creative buttons, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash list. I have some fun ideas there and a few other trainings about list sections available on my website. 
So that's insidethesquare.co forward slash list for some free codes to inspire you to create beautiful buttons. Alrighty, that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my CSS cheat sheet. I put all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace into one PDF, and you can download a copy right now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.